I came to the Amazon with my grandparents when I was five years old. And all the memories I have from my childhood are full of green bird songs, humidity, and heat. Everything that awakens a child's senses. Surrounded by the forest, I dreamed of becoming a biologist. And at 17 years old, I went to college to study science, where I discovered my love for primates and with them my vocation as conservationist. I earned a master's degree in animal behavior and a doctorate in animal biology, always focusing on the conservation of neotropical primates and their importance to the forest. In 2014, I joined the Conservation International Brazil as a project manager for the Amazon and learned that to keep the forest standing, there is a fundamental element with the same important role as biodiversity, people that live in the nature. The Tapajós region is in the heart of the Amazon. Here, the river is the size of the sea and it's sacred for the communities that have lived here for generations. It's where they get their food and medicine, how they travel, where they take their leisure, and where they practice their culture and religion. In return, they are guardians of the forest. In the Tapajós region, Conservation International Sustainable and Resilience Tapajós Project supports the people living in three national forests, Tapajós, Trairão, and Itaituba One. Our goal is to strengthen the supply chains of timber and non-timber products and the governance of local communities inside their own territories. But these people who have thrived in the Amazon for generations, why do they need their help? They face many threats. Illegal timber extraction destroys the forest. Even worse, illegal mining destroys the forest and puts poisonous chemicals like mercury into the river, making people here extremely sick. Their livelihoods, culture, spirituality, and health are all intimately connected to the forest and the river. The past year, COVID-19 pandemic has made life even more challenging here. Many people and many leaders have had COVID and our health systems cannot keep up. Conservation International has supported every way we can, preparing food baskets and masks to help the communities. And there's more. While you may have heard about fires in the Amazon, you may not have heard that in recent years. Indigenous people here have been threatened, attacked and killed for trying to protect the forest. The message is that anyone working to conserve the Amazon should give up. But I have hope. The people and the forest are strong and resilient. This place is so beautiful and so critical. People have awakened to the importance of Amazon for a stable climate. We are supporting these communities and together we will overcome. I want to leave with you this image, that this forest is made up of life, plants, animals, fungi, but especially people. There is no way to think about conserving the forest if we don't put people at the center of this discussion. I am so proud of the work that I do for people in nature. This is my purpose of life and is what I love to do.